Hello guys, Brad here again, another fragrance review. Let's take another look at a Zara fragrance. I'm going to take a look at 12.0. This is one of the ones that comes in the uh, classic, extreme, and sport discovery sets from Zara. So I, I've been trying those out lately. Uh, this one was classified as an Amber Fougere. It came out in 2020. Notes of bergamot, cardamom, lavender, and nutmeg. Middle notes of amber, apple, cedar, and musk. Base notes of moss, vanilla, tonka bean, and green notes. So this one, when you get a Fragrantica, this is the one that uh, gets often compared with Paco Rabanne's Invictus. And I can see where they're coming from there. I agree. It does have a very Invictus or Invictus Aqua feel to it. Um, so if you're a fan of that fragrance, but you don't want to shell out the big bucks for that uh this is definitely one to consider as a cheaper alternative unfortunately i don't still have a bottle of invictus or invictus aqua i just had some samples and uh used those up and so no longer have a reference point but yeah from what i remember very similar to that invictus vibe of a fragrance i guess you could call it uh, sort of like an oceanic bubble gummy type fragrance uh, the fruit here isn't really distinct like a lot of bergamot fragrances it just sort of this blends with that bubble gum smell um, you know I don't get like moss or tonka bean necessarily just kind of like a bubble gummy smell with some oceanic notes in there perhaps a little bit sweet which would make sense from the amber so that's the kind of fragrance you're going to get with 12.0 here just sort of an invictus dupe or clone i think uh be the best way to describe this one certainly seems to be similar to like the hollister or the ember crombie um aeropostale type fragrances if you like those types of mall scents this one would uh, go along just fine with those definitely think this like under 25 or so if you get in your 30s and up, it might be a little bit too youthful or uh, juvenile for uh, somebody like that. But uh, you can check it out and see what you think. The price point is certainly pretty fair. I think it was about $10 when you got it at Zara. But now I think maybe it's discontinued or harder to find. Go to eBay, it's jacked up to about $20 for a bottle. So not quite as impressive, but still cheaper than Invictus, I think. So, yeah. Pretty much my thoughts on the 12.0. It's okay, but a little bit juvenile, youthful, sort of mallish, Hollister ish. <laughs> sort of a bubblegummy, aquatic kind of a smell to my nose. Um, but if you like Invictus or Invictus Aqua, don't want to spend the big bucks, check this one out if you can find it cheaper somewhere. So for me, the smell, 6 out of 10. I've been wearing this quite a bit, and uh, <laughs> I'm not really excited about wearing it, but I do wear it just so I can review it and get a reference for how it smells. Be anxious to move on to something else very soon. Projection longevity, we'll say four to six hours. Six out of ten there. Versatility, seven out of ten. I think this is more of a warm weather scent for, like, spring, summer. Now, the good thing here is that it's not quite as potent as the original Pacaraban Invictus, I think this may be easier to pull off as a day scent. Maybe the Invictus uh, would be more of a clubbing scent, but this one tones it down a bit from what I remember. Makes it a little bit easier to pull off in the workplace. Uniqueness, 5 out of 10, because it does smell like a dupe of those fragrances that I've mentioned. eBay, I saw a bottle for $19.99. They said it was 80 ml. So that sounds like a pretty decent price for a fragrance of that size. Overall for me though, 6 out of 10. The other thing I would say is that if you like Invictus, Invictus Aqua, don't own a bottle, you don't want to spend more than like $20, give this one a shot and see what you think. So that's my thoughts on the 12.0 line of Zara Classic, Sport, and Extreme. I think they're all pretty much interchangeable as far as I can tell. So anyone would do, if that's what you're into, this sort of like bubblegum aquatic kind of a thing. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.